A strip club scandal. Four people arrested, accused of letting a 15-year-old girl dance at the club in Orange County. Investigators say that teen worked at Flash Dancers for two years. Fox 35 Stephanie Buffmonte has been going through hundreds of pages of documents in this case to get a better idea of what exactly happened there. According to law enforcement, the girl was just 15 years old when she was working as a stripper here at Flash Dancer. And it was a routine traffic stop from a car leaving this parking lot that sparked this investigation. The victim, 17 at the time, was getting a ride home from a co-worker at the strip club when a deputy stopped them for not having their lights on back in 2021. And this sparked a years-long investigation. The investigative report, nearly 300 pages. At the time, the deputy ran the victim's name and learned that she was a stripper at Flash Dancer Orlando on OBT. But she was underage. The deputy found dollars, five, and 20s in her bag, along with lingerie. The Metropolitan Bureau of Investigation then learned that she was 15 when she started working there in 2019. Owner William Sear, General Manager Jonathan Johnson, Kimberly Sinclair, who's referred to as the house mom, and Manager Paul DeLave were all arrested on human trafficking charges. Ed Gilbert with the Lifeboat Project works with human trafficking victims. He says it is hard to hear here, a 15-year-old was stripping in Orlando. I find it sad. I find it revolting. And, um, and I, I hope at some point that we have the ability to diminish what's happening in our community. Investigators say Flash Dancer Management allowed her to work without checking that she had the proper ID or the entertainment license required by the county. Management told law enforcement they did not know she was underage and that she used a fake ID to get hired. According to the report, the owner told investigators, quote, they let it fall through the cracks and didn't get her licensed properly. Law enforcement says this is the first owner or operator of a strip club in Orange County County that has been arrested on these charges. Gilbert stresses it's their job to make sure girls are of age. I don't condone what they do. Everybody's entitled to make a living, right? As long as it's not against the law. Um, but I do think they have an obligation to ensure that the people that work for them were of an age to make their own decisions. Florida is ranked the third highest state for human trafficking. Gilbert says if you see something, say something. Now you may notice the caution tape behind me here and the parking lot empty. Investigators say this place is not shut down because of the investigation. I spoke to someone who was over here. They say they're actually just paving the parking lot and fixing up inside. Reporting in Orlando, Stephanie Buffmonte, Fox 35 News. Stephanie